Hello everyone, my name is Atharth and in this video I'm going to demo my project which I built for the AppRat Hackathon. It started 3 to 4 weeks back and its name is FormVibe. I you know started with this project by creating you know all the designs for this project. Uh, in Figma I created all the designs. Uh, this is just for the reference purposes and I'll share its link in the description as well. You can check out all the designs I created for this project. You know, uh, for the first week, I just, you know, created all the designs and from the next week, I started the development. You know, I started uh, analyzing how I will make it and which libraries I will use for this project. So this is the homepage of my project and its name is FormVibe. It basically lets users to create beautiful forms with ease and you can design and deploy custom forms effortlessly. Okay, and already there are other form tools as well, available as well in the market like Airtable and type forum but I wanted to create something of my own and I wanted to combine all these available platforms at a single place and also I wanted to improve the developer experience and include some other extra features like it has this uh, built-in drag and drop functionality which user can use to you know create forms with ease so let's see this is the home page of my project and it's deployed at formvibe.versal.app you can also check it out and create forms using this uh, this is the home page and these are all the features that I mentioned over here so let's get started with this. And also the tech stack which I've used in this is the Next.js in the front end, AppRite as the back end for authentication, for storing something or uh, for databases, I've used the AppRite services. And Sheets and UI components I've used, Tailwind CSS, Lucid.dev for the icons, React DND for the uh, drag and drop functionality. So let's get started with it. So you can click on this button to get started with this. And from this button, you can basically check out the code repository. All the code is open source and all the contributions are welcomed. So yeah, using this button, you can yeah just check out the repository, start this, you know, check the code. Yeah, so let's get started with this and it will redirect you to the signup page. Let's enter my details, Tharat Verma, my email address and the password. So let's click enter and let me just save it and let's log in it. So after logging in, you will basically see this page where you can see the dashboard. So it will show you the forms over here and using this button, you can create the form. Uh, using this option, you can see the templates which we have. So currently I have two templates available, the job application and the survey form. And we have this account page as well using which you can update your information and by clicking on it you'll see the sub menu you can go to the my profile page which is exactly the same page which I have opened currently and you can also log out okay so after, uh, after clicking on log out it will redirect you to the login page again so let's log in again so let's create a form so when you create a form it will show you these two options either you can create from scratch basically you will see an empty builder okay and either you can just create a form from template so all the form elements will be pre-populated by default so let's create a form from scratch it will open up the empty builder page so you will see a page something like this in the left hand side we have all the form elements available you can also search the form elements you know by clicking over here and we have this container where we will be we will be you know dragging the form elements okay and here you can see the settings related to the form elements so let's say I want this text field, I want one more text field, I want phone number, I want a file upload option, uh, let's say I want a date as well, let's say I want uh, a yes or no option as well. So let's change the label for all the form elements, you can basically click over here and you can edit it. So this one let's say I want full name, uh, I want let's say father name, okay let's say I want phone number uh, let's say I want uh, resume let's say I want date of birth let's say I want to ask any question uh, are you two plus experienced in software engineering okay so yeah using this you can create the form and every form element will have this some settings so currently I have the this only single setting related to all the form whether this form field is required or not you can basically switch it off or on according to the requirement. So currently all form fields are required. Let's say I don't want father name to be required so you can just simply switch it off. Okay so our next tab is share. So it will basically show you this page where you can get the shareable link which you can share it with the users. 
or you can also tweet it in the Twitter or LinkedIn or Facebook as well by clicking on this link. Let's say I want to tweet it. So it'll basically open up the Twitter uh, post page with the pre-built, with the pre-defined uh, tweet which I've written over here. You can also change it. So let's say I want to share it with the users. You can just uh, simply copy it and you can share it with the users. If I open it, we'll basically see a form like how it will basically look to the users when they're submitting the form. Okay, you'll see some uh, headline over here as well, like which is powering this form. So currently the form vibe is powering this form. So you'll see that subtitle as well in the below. So let's enter all the details. So this one is optional as well. You can enter or not. It's your you know, choice. So let's say I don't enter some values. So it'll show me the error that you know these fields are required. So let's just enter some dummy file over here. Oh, let's just enter 1706.99. Are you two? Yeah, okay. So submit. So after submitting, it'll show you the toast information over here and yeah, this submission page. Okay, so let's go back. So I'll show you how to check responses as well later. So next is the settings page. Using this, you can basically you know, change the settings like how your form will actually look. So you can basically change the form name from uh, this option. So you can, let's say I want title to be job application form. And some description over here, you can write. And let's put some dummy picture over here, which will represent the form icon. I don't have any picture currently, so let me check. I don't have any picture currently, so I'm just putting dummy pictures. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait. Okay, so if you save it and if you preview it, you will see now the form banner and icon will come. So in the previous form, you see, uh, okay, I don't have that open. So yeah, it'll take some time and it'll show you the icon and banner which we selected in the form customization. And you will also see the updated job, uh, sorry, form title and description over here. And everything will be same. So yeah. So in uh, from this, you can basically customize your form, how it will basically look. And yeah, save button is just for saving. So these were some of the options in the builder which you can use to create the form in an easy way. So yeah, let's go back. And here you will be able to view and manage all your forms. Uh, you can also go back to edit page by clicking over here. Or you can also go to this button and it'll open up this sub menu where you can edit the form it'll open up the same page you can view all the responses and as, like current uh, i just submitted this form and entered all these details so you can see all the details which i submitted or which other people will submit you can see all the responses over here so in future I'll, uh, currently this response page looks like this i'll improve it in the future and yeah you can even delete the form so let's say i delete the form it will be deleted so there is one more option to create the form. Let's say I want to use the template. So you can just simply click on any template and it will, you know, pre-populate all the form fields for you. Okay, and you can change the settings and uh, yeah, you can just share it. Let's open this form in new tab and you can just share this form with this link and you know, you can, you can collect the responses. So yeah. So in this way you can uh, create, uh, and also one more thing, like you can uh, select like how this form will be rendered. So currently all the forms by default will be rendered as a table. So you can also select type form from here as well. So let's save it and let's refresh this and you will be able to see that this form will change now. So now it will be in the form of type form now, like one form element at a single page. Yeah. So yeah, this was the project I built. It was uh, really fun building this project and the most challenging part was building this, uh, you know, drag and drop functionality. It was fun learning this and building this. And yeah, this was amazing experience while building this project. And this whole project is powered by AppRite. Let me show you the console of this. So this is a statistics, <laughs> all these statistics, uh, statistics are just like for the testing only currently. I mean, this is not a real time uh, used by any users currently, but this is just, you know, in testing only it took so much requests, I guess. But yeah, in future it will be increased. It will be increased if more users are using it. So I've used the uh, AppRite authentication for login and sign up. And I've used databases 
uh, for storing my uh, forms, responses, and the users. And I've used the cloud function as well. Uh, okay, currently I've deleted it. Basically, I was using it to uh, you know store the user information after user signs up, but I was not using it because of some issue. You know, I also reported in the Discord channel as well. But yeah, in future I'll use it. And yeah, I've also used the storage for storing all the you know images and icons or form customizations which we're doing in the tool. And let me show you the uh, designs as well. I guess I've showed you in the beginning. I guess so. Yeah, I'll just share its link in the description. Uh, yeah. I'll also uh, share the uh, hash node article in the description. You can also check it out. So yeah, that was all my experience of building this project and what this project does. So I hope you love this project and also do, you know, uh, make forms using this tool and collect responses and yeah, share it with the community and and let's also collaborate all like all the code is open source all the collaborations are welcomed and let's make this project go bigger yeah so yeah thank you all i hope you love this